20 instruments you probably never heard of before. Number 20, the Toha. This is also known as the totem harp and was invented by composer Victor Gama. It was inspired by the weaver nests of birds in Africa. The top resonator is usually made of a gourd, which is a type of pumpkin melon, and it has a carbon fiber bottom resonator. Two musicians can play it at the same time, sitting down facing each other. It has 22 strings and both sides of the instrument is tuned the same. To me, it sounds somewhere between a harp and a guitar. Number 19 is the contrabass balalaika. The balalaika might be known to most people, but there is a rarer version of it known as the contrabass balalaika. The balalaika is a Russian instrument and it is characterized by its triangular wooden hollow body. It has a fretted neck and usually has only three strings. Two of these strings are usually tuned to the same note and the third one is a perfect fourth higher. The contrabass, because it is so big, is equipped with an extension leg that can rest on the floor. And because the strings are so large, it's usually played using a plectra, which people can make from anything leather, like a shoe or a boot even. To me, it loses the sound of the traditional balalaika, and it sounds more like a bass guitar. Number 18 is the stylophone. It is a miniature stylus-operated keyboard. It was invented in 1967 by Brian Jarvis. It has a little metal keyboard, which has a printed circuit board, and it is played by touching it with a stylus. Each note is connected to a voltage-controlled oscillator via a different value resistor. This closes the circuit and produces the sound. The only other controls on a stylophone is the power switch and a vibrato control on the front panel next to the keyboard. To me, this sounds like a grungy electric guitar. I can play instrument! Number 17 is the Picasso guitar. Pat Metheny is an American jazz guitarist and composer. In 1984, he requested a guitar that has as many strings as possible. Linda Manzer, a luthier, designed a guitar with 42 strings arranged in four string sections. So basically, it looks like four guitars in one. The Picasso has two holes for mounting the guitar on a stand, allowing the guitarist to play the guitar without having to hold it. Some of the string parts sound nice to me, almost like a harp. The other ones that I've heard so far just sounds like a classical guitar. There might be more videos out there, I'm sure it produces much better sound. Number 16 is the theremin. The theremin is also known as an etherphone. In the olden days when musical instruments were designed, anything that had to do with air was known as an etherphone. It's an electrical musical instrument controlled without actually touching anything. It was created by Leon Theremin in 1928. It creates an ether wave, ether again referring to air. The loop antenna on the left controls the volume and the upright antenna controls the pitch. I love the sound of this instrument. Number 15 is the cymbalom. It is a Hungarian instrument composed of a large box on legs 
with metal strings stretched across its top. It has a dampening pedal underneath. It was created by Josef Skunda in 1874 in Budapest. His design was based on the existing hammer dulcimer. Typically, it is played by striking two sticks with cotton wound tips usually against the strings which are on the top of the instrument. The treble strings are arranged in groups of four and the bass strings are arranged in groups of three. I love the sound of this instrument. It's absolutely beautiful. Number 14 is the glass harmonica, also known as the glass harmonica. In 1761, Benjamin Franklin saw water-filled wine glasses being played by Edward de Laval at Cambridge in England. He then worked together with London glass blower Charles James to build the glass harmonica. It was premiered in 1762, played by Marion Davies. It uses a series of glass bowls or goblets graduated in size to produce musical tones by means of friction. To me, the sound is somewhere between playing glasses filled with water and a church organ. Number 13 is the Kruth. The strange spelling is due to the fact that this is a Welsh word and W is pronounced as a vowel in Welsh. Similar instruments have been played in Wales since at least the Roman times. Instruments somewhat resembling the Kruth appeared in pictures as far back as the 11th century, shortly after bowing was first known in the West. It sounds to me like a violin or a fiddle, but it just looks a little bit strange. Number 12 is the hung. Interesting fact, if you have more than one hung, it's called hung hung. It is a type of a hand pan, which is based on the Caribbean steel pan instrument. It was created by Felix Rohner and Sabina Schreerer in Switzerland. Sometimes people will call this a hang drum, but these two inventors strongly discourage using this term. It's typically played resting on the player's lap, and you play it with your hands and your fingers instead of mallets. The hung creates rich overtone sounds, much warmer and brighter than the mallet-based traditional steel pan. Number 11 is the hydrolophone. It is a tonal acoustic music instrument played by direct physical contact with water. It was developed by Steve Mann in 2005 and patented in 2011. It usually contains some kind of hydraulic fluid which will be in contact with the player's fingers. To me it looks like absolute fun playing this instrument. At number 10 we have another Swedish instrument known as a nickel harper. It's also known as a keyed fiddle or a key hop. It looks almost like a violin with little keys. So if you don't want to hurt your fingers by pressing the strings on the violin, install some keys. A relief was found dating from 1350 depicting two instruments, which could possibly be Nicola Harpur, but this is not confirmed. There are some early church paintings also found in Siena in Italy dating from 1408 and in different churches in Denmark and Sweden. Listening to the performance of this instrument, it sounds like a normal violin, even though it has many more strings. Number 9 is an instrument that some people might have actually heard before, the hurdy-gurdy. It's a mechanical string instrument. It has a crank on one side and a rosined wheel that turns and rubs against the strings. 
It almost works like a violin bow, this rosin wheel, and the single notes played on the instrument sound very similar to a violin. Melodies are played using a keyboard, which presses down tangents or small wedges against one or more of the strings to change their pitch. Most hurdy-gurdies have multiple drone strings. They give out a constant pitch accompaniment to the, to the melody. For me, listening to the hurdy-gurdy playing, the constant pitch sounds exactly like bagpipes. So the two parts together sounds like bagpipes accompanied by violin. At number 8 we have the Chapman Stick. This is an electrical musical instrument and it was created by Emmett Chapman in the early 1970s. To me it looks like an electrical guitar without the guitar. It's basically just got the fretboard, even though it looks much bigger than the normal fretboard. It usually has 10 or 12 individually tuned strings and it is used to play bass lines, melody line chords, etc. It is fully polyphonic and it can also cover several of these musical parts simultaneously. It sounds to me just like two guitars playing together. At number 7 we have a very strange instrument known as a Yebahar. It's an acoustic musical instrument and it was invented by Turkish musician Gorkum Sen. He describes it as a real-time acoustic string synthesizer. I absolutely love the sound that comes out of this instrument. It sounds like thunder rumbling in the distance. The word Yebahar has Turkish origin. The first word Ye means string or coiled string and Bahar means spring. So this is a springy string, literally translated. It is played by sliding a wooden bow along the two long strings suspended in the center of two drum heads. Simultaneously, the drums can be hit as well. At number 6 we have the wheel harp. It has bowed strings controlled by a keyboard and a foot controlled motor. This keyboard operated instrument creates continuously sounding strings by rubbing the strings with spinning wheels, powered by a treadle controlled by one foot of the musician. Listening to a performance of this instrument, it sounds like multiple string instruments playing at the same time. It was created by John Jones and Mitchell Manger in 2013. At number 5 we have the Sharps Accord. It is an acoustic 46 string harp played by a pin cylinder created by Henry Dagg. He was an English composer and a sound sculptor. He played the 2.5 ton instrument with Bjork. I don't necessarily like the sound of this. Uh, you can make up your own mind. At number 4 we have the singing tesla coil, also known as the zoosophone. It's a type of plasma speaker. It uses a solid state tesla coil that has been modified to produce musical tones by modulating its spark output. Normally the frequencies are significantly above human audible sound frequencies. So digital modulation can reproduce a recognizable pitch. Because a solid state coil driver can only have on off modulation, the sound produced is more like little bursts of sound instead of long notes. I do not really understand the point of this instrument and it doesn't sound that nice to me either.
At number three, we have the friction harp. It has 12 tones, the lowest one being a G, and it is approximately 12 feet long. It was made by J.C. Deegan in Chicago, Illinois in 1920. It has 25 tuned aluminium tubes that fit into a wooden strip with metal thumb screws that hold the tubes in place. It is played using rosined gloves. Just a warning for the people using headphones, when you hear this sample, it is very screechy. This is another one of the strange instruments that I don't really like. At number two we have the water phone, also known as an ocean harp or aquasonic water phone. It has a stainless steel resonator bowl or a pan with a cylindrical neck and bronze rods of different lengths and diameters around the rim of the bowl. It can be filled with small amounts of water as well, which will essentially change the sound. It was invented, developed and manufactured by American Richard Waters. Usually it is played sitting down by a soloist and either bowed or drummed. The sound that it produces has been used in the past to try and communicate with whales. Once you hear the sample, you will understand why. At number one, the strangest instrument that I could find is the pyrophone. It's also known as a fire or explosion organ. Looking at this, you might think this is a modern invention, some strange idea that someone had at a rock concert. In fact, this instrument was invented in 1870 by Georges Frédéric Eugène Kastner. Notes are sounded by explosions or similar forms of rapid combustion, rapid heating or the like. Usually it has burners in cylindrical gas tubes which will create the light and sound. One drawback of the pyrophone is that the sound is very soft. Unless you amplify it, it's not that easy to hear the sound produced. I hope you found this video interesting. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next video.